What are you paranoid of? Dying young. How old are you? 33. Bro, you're, you're starting to climb the hill, man. I mean, I wouldn't call you young. If I would, Listen, if you died right now, I would say it was too young, but I wouldn't call you young, bro. You can let that fear go, man. You live past young. <laughs> you made it, bro. <laughs> you made it. Here's the good news. Now you can shift that focus and be paranoid about some new shit, all right? I'm here to help you out. This show is also healing. It's not just, it's also, it's also cathartic here, okay? Are you listening? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. I will get a Toyota. Scissor Brothers! Oh my goodness. CNG. CNG. Okay. Yeah. Can you play that again? I like the way that sounds. You got you got something for it? What do you mean? You got a song that uh, maybe a Kawabunga song? Because your shirt's making me think of Kawabunga. Kawabunga vibes? Yeah. Well, Go ahead. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't. But when my scissor brother calls upon me and asks for a Kawabunga song, you, you best, best believe they'll best come believe up with something. That. Best believe that. You ready? Okay. Masterpiece. You heard it first on Scissor Bros. Oh my goodness. Topping the Billboard oh bottom 100s. God. 
Mm. We're about to get some vinyl. Don't we have vinyl out now? Yeah. Pre- we got there's some a, there's pre- a pre-orders of the, 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 the comedy music album, Scissor Bros. Best volume of Volume 1, one baby. Best of Volume 1 on vinyl. Okay, shout out to the Comedy Store for putting that out. Yeah, Comedy okay. Store Records, baby. It's out yeah, and about. Baby. We got a lot of fun things going uh-huh. on. The other podcasts don't. And you're here for a different kind of vibe, a different kind of feeling, because we give you a different kind of positive energy on your dude. Fridays. Positivity. And then whether you're turning in on a different day, mm-hmm. there you go. You know what? Let's clean the palate by doing some lower scissors. Not these. Let's do some downward scissors. Some laterals. Yeah. Okay. You ready? You're Let's more do about it. those cowabunga chill Let's vibes Let's do some today, cowabunga dude. laterals, baby. Can I tell you before we do that? It's my dream to voice Michelangelo in an animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle someday. Did you have an opportunity recently? No. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but we're putting it out there. In the I'm universe. putting it out there. You're gonna get one. Okay, let's get the lateral scissors okay. going. Okay. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four fifty, five. Let's maybe six. six more chills. Seven, seven eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Fly out like some seagulls. <laughs> Turtles in a half shell, turtle power. Yeah. You're looking real handsome with that shirt, man. You like this shirt? You're looking real good in that. I wore it specifically for today. Have you worn it? I, that's the first time I've seen you it's wear that. It's usually a stage shirt. Really? Yeah. There's only well, certain shirts I, I wear on stage to keep them nice and clean, but today I was like, you know what? Steve that's a good deserves one. a I stage shirt. I deserve that shirt. one, don't I? Yep. Now, where could I get a shirt like that? Mm, a lot of places. You're not gonna tell me your secrets of where to get it. I don't know where. I don't know where this one was a gift. I don't. I don't know where this one came from. Really? Yeah, really. Think about it. I, oh, I thought about what I was. I chose really? my words wisely. It fits you real snug, man. Because I remember that I told you one of the secrets that I shop at. We ain't gonna talk and, about that oh, store. No, you fibbed, and you, you, know what? you revealed and it I to told somebody you else. You edit that out and post. Mm-hmm. And it's not a secret anymore. No, no, no. It is still. Oh. No, that was off camera when you told that person. You're like, Jeremiah, my shop's here. I'm like, Steve, I told you, you told you that in confidence. Yeah, but that was the homie. And, you know, they weren't right. going to, you know. Yeah. You think they're buying out their whole stuff? I shop at Baby Gap. There's the secret. That's this. It's not and that. And then I dry, I dry them. First I wash them and then I dry them. They actually expand. Really hip clothing for babies, but then they expand into a six foot three size tall man. Well, you look good in collared shirts. Thanks, man. Yeah. Keep it up. I like your Halloween shirt. Don't, you don't just wear... say it because I complimented you. I'm not, dude. Okay. I'm not. You really I like... like it? Show it off. That's a dope shirt. Oh. Steve has so many shirts, so many, and he wears 10 of them. No, less. Five? Four. Because they're comfy Cause or Because you why? shame me on my vintage police shirt. Don't Let's talk. Say Since we're talking that, fashion and shirts, I didn't mean one to time shame you're you. Over and you're like, and the, you, it was kind of like a backhanded statement. You, you, you looked at me. You go, you really like that shirt, huh? <laughs> I go, yeah. He goes, yeah. I noticed you, you wear it a lot. I go, and then I had to decipher what that meant. And the way like I broke that down, in a it, was, it was like, oh. Steve, you wear that shirt way too much. You wear a different shirt. But continue with my wardrobe. Steve has so many shirts. I just am, I don't mean to ever shame you, brother. You've been throwing the shame word around a lot lately, and I've been having... I know it's for fun. It's all in good fun. Scissor Brothers! Jeremiah. Yeah, Steve? What are you doing? I'm working on my jump shot. Isn't it obvious? Don't you have dates to plug? Oh, that's right. Tuesday, May 3rd, Stand Up on the Spot is at the Comedy Store for the Netflix is a Joke Comedy Festival. Come see that. And then on Wednesday, May 4th, I'll be headlining the La Jolla Comedy Store. And Tuesday, May 17th, I'm doing Stand Up on the Spot at New York Comedy Club. Ari Shafir, Giannis Papas, Mark Norman, Kevin Ryan, and H. Foley from Are You Garbage? And maybe some surprise guests. Also, June 16th to the 19th, come to summer camp with Scissor Bros at Camp Ra. That's C-A-M-P-R-A-H-H dot com. 
come to camp with us. And if you missed that, make sure to catch us June 29th at the Ontario Improv. Use promo code SCISSORBROS to get a discount at CampRaw.com. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's, it's going to be, be a, a very unique fun. experience. There's archery, yoga, and kayaking. Lots of more stuff, too. Yes. Yep. And then we got a lot of merch, and we got that new Scissor Bros album that's shipping on vinyl through the Comedy Store Records now. A lot of good stuff, but we love you guys. Go to patreon.com slash Scissor Bros as well. Now let's get back into this episode of Scissor Bros right now. Love you guys. I just saw you're your, not mean nature. I saw like you. That. I saw your closet, and I was blown away how many shirts Steve had. And I was like, "Dude, why I have a don't lot of you? T-shirts. Why don't you wear these?" And he goes, Meh, "I don't know. I just kind of wear my the normal rotation." You know what it is? It's a mental thing. Really? Yeah. Like, cause I wanted to wear um a certain shirt today. Could we do a segment where it's like Steve's cribs, and then like I we show off your t-shirts? You think that would interest people? Uh, you know that the Scissor family would freaking love that. I don't have that much. That. It's not like I'm Dude, a streetwear guy. Guarantee, Steve. I'm not a hype beast guy. I, I would show off, I bet, some of your clothing, and then people would be like, why doesn't he wear that shirt? That shirt's dope. Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. Really? Yeah, I think we should do uh, like a, we should do, do you remember that old MTV show? Uh, Cribs? Sorry, Joe. Hmm. Gerald, are you doing okay? He just burped on you. Oh, sorry. That burp smelled worse than an octopus's sorry, taint that I went down yeah. on earlier today. Okay, well, if that's how you feel. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we could do that, but hold up. Let me go back to my, this OCD thing. But do you think it's an OCD thing? It's a comfortability thing, and it's a... You just like routine, man. Yeah. I threw some curveballs at you today, and you are like... Whoa, 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 whoa. I like just wearing... Oh, a sewing scope. I don't know if I can do that. Oh. No. Oh, don't do that. I'm not that bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. No. You said one thing, and now it's a different... Oh, I'm blind. No, I just... To me, it's comfortability, and it's... Um, sexuality. What's the, word I, what's the word I'm using? It's... Um, sexuality. Familiar. Frugality. Not frugal. Edit that one out. Or edit the Potentiality. No, it's comfortability. Escapeality. It's just, it's easy. Reality. Not reality. It's just accessible and mm. it's convenient. It's convenient. Conviality. I'm like, oh, I just wore this yesterday. I'll wear it again. And I and if I, I smell all my stuff, what's Terrence been Terrence up there? I mean, is, is all, he smelling? He's is all his up in, okay? my, in my grill. I'm going to have to move him. He's all yeah, up. Yeah, Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna yeah, we kind of. Are you doing okay, him. though? We haven't talked to you in a bit. Listening is more powerful than talking could ever there you be. Go. I take no offense. No, but the thing is, I, uh, you know, I'll wear the same thing, right, Terrence? I'll wear the same thing until it starts smelling a little iffy, and then I'll be like, all Wait, right. Wait, so you wear something until you smell something? Yeah. Oh, interesting. But with my socks and undies, it's a one wear deal. Good. Now, that's the way to be. That's the way to be. Sometimes with socks, I'll stretch it out to two days. Oh, I bet you stretch them out. Oh, 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 oh. We should do a thing where we look at my socks. Huh? Okay. Well, you do have good or sock game. Or smell my socks. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we don't have to You do have good that. sock game. You really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, they're good socks. Right, I appreciate you it. You always have fun stripes and different things like that. I like striped socks. I yeah. Do. You do. Um, now, you had a really special weekend, didn't you? Oh, my goodness. I Were you, know, weren't you in Kansas? Great time back home to visit family. Can we give a shout out to your, to some of your family member folks? Shout out to the Watkins family. Shout out to the Watkins. The Watkins clan, as some people call them, very Uh similar to Wu Tang clan, Watkins clan. Watkins clan, clan, baby. Watkins clan ain't nothing to frick with. Mm -hmm. Um, Good peoples. Good peoples. Yeah. I went home, had an awesome time visiting, and I gotta, I gotta tell you, man, my dad did something that made me laugh. So freaking I love your hard. dad, by the way. He loves you. Love your dad. Get along with him just fine. He did something that made me laugh so hard. Um, he put incense in his car to make it smell good before he took me on a ride in it, okay? Really? Now, he kept it lit in it kind of destroyed the inside of his car the incense because it kept burning why did he do that and let's roll a clip (laughs) dad what's going on out here this this car looks like it's smoking well it was i had a stick of incense in there but i guess it caught the console on fire it caught the console on fire the console's cooked (laughs) 
Fortunately, they didn't burn the car up. I hit um, look what it did to the inside. Yeah, it's, I'll have to God, look at this. Oh, I, I, the console's destroyed. I'll have to see the console. <laughs> don't, don't tell Jim. <laughs> oh, shit. His car is just completely messed up. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This oh, is whoa. destroyed on the inside. Oh, my goodness. My headliner. Well, let's just sit on the glass. Oh, my. <laughs> I'll clean it. I'll clean it. Look at the... Hey, hey, don't say... Don't, don't say <laughs> this again. freaking car, dude. Oh. Look at the inside yes, this. This is, this is, Dad, this is so messed up. Uh, it'll take some cleaning. It'll sure. take some more than cleaning? What are you talking about? Let, let me get some windows now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. You're lucky that this thing didn't catch fully on fire. This is completely, it's still kind of smoking over there. Yeah, it's not. I have the coolest dad. Would you do me a favor? So, so, so what, explain what's happening. <laughs> this is hard to explain. Started with a little stick of incense. See, my, I got a little funky smell in the car. I thought it'd be a good idea just to put a little incense in there, close all the windows. I figured lack of oxygen would it go out. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't go out. It caught. <laughs> we melted the console down. Yeah. Got smoke. I have dark tinted windows now, thanks to all the smoke in there. Yeah, I was gonna have to do some salvage yard repairs. Okay, but okay. we'll get her. We'll get her. Yeah, done. we'll get her done. Got her. Done. Okay. No, no problem. Cool. Awesome. Why do you do that? He he got excited. He wanted to impress his son. Yeah, he got excited. Mister Watkins, you don't have to do that. Yeah. He accepts you. Yeah. And the smells I in love your car. It, I do. Yeah. Dude, I was dying laughing. It was insane. But was he upset? Yeah, but I mean, he. What are you gonna do? It was an accident. You know. He told me that he he was uh, he was gonna go to Lawrence and, and find something in a junkyard or something to replace it. What's Lawrence? A city. Oh, okay. Shout out to Lawrence, uh, Kansas. It's where KU is at. Oh, K Kansas University. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's their mascot? Is it a bird or something? Rock, chalk, Jayhawk, go. KU. Oh, Jayhawks. Sorry. Yeah. Jayhawks, baby. Yeah, Jayhawks. Baby. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that made me laugh really freaking hard. It was just like so insane. That's family stuff. It's family stuff, man. Um, did you play any pool? How's the weather? Did you play any pool? Oh, I played some pool. I played a lot of pool over the weekend. You know what? I gotta kind of like big you up on that. Uh, you 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 are you're legit. Steve, you're legit. In my eyes, you're legit now. Steve watched me play for the first time at our buddy Andrew Nicholas's birthday party at. Utah Origami's, uh, the Olympic uh, Japanese uh, gold medalist skateboarder. Gold Very medalist. nice guy, ki kid. Super very nice. nice kid. So let's just say, not, and I don't, I don't toot my horn very often in pool, but this made me feel good. They're not pool players, but they're still Olympians. I was. Beat. You mentioned that in the car, and I'm like, oh man, he's feeling on top of the world right now. I was beating Olympians. You beat everybody left and right. No, not at just this party. Olympians. You beat everybody. Not just Olympians. You beat everyone at the party that stepped. Don't do that. A little humility, please. Everyone who stepped up to the table, you beat. Okay. Are you happy about that? Yeah. They and win. that one. Thing, trick you did uh, I did a jump shot and Steve don't freaked out don't take away from your skill level okay you did something and it really scared me the way me. I did it is, is it's a it's a bar room jump shot it's not it's not it wasn't illegal like in a in a, in a legit tournament game you can't do the jump shot you that know I was what? doing I'm gonna relate to skateboarding it's like if you had never seen a kickflip and you're like hey do something and you're like and you just uh, just out of the blue just set if you just say, hey, watch this, and you do a kickflip, and I'll be like, oh, my God. Right, right. You'd, like, hit it over I the jumped thing. it over the ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, Jeremiah's on a different level. <laughs> but, I mean, all these people who are I was beating was, like, young 22-year-old kids. They're that, kick -ass skaters that are from, like, like, from AZ. They're, they're, like, they're, like, millionaires. I'm like, yeah, this is right, 20 year olds. There's a new pool player in town. You like hanging around that pool table, didn't you? Yeah, man. Felt no good. karaoke. Felt though. real good. No, I stayed in where, where so I belong. Shout out to Andrew again and Deshaun and Uto. We love 
being there. I loved beating all of you. Thank yeah. you so much for having me to your party. <laughs> Sorry, I don't do that very often, oh but your boy felt God. real are sure, good. Are your you boy, sure you your, don't want to edit this part boy, out? Nope, nope. We'll edit that back no. in. No. Uh, yeah. And then do a freeze and then like a little 80s graphic as me going like champion. Like, da -da -da -da. Are you talking to the editor right now? No, this is going to stay in the episode as well. Oh so, da -da -da -da. No, absolutely <laughs> not. I forbid it. Um, let's talk about some other events that happened in Kansas. What else did you do out there? You get some good meals? Oh, dude, I got my mom's cheese dip. I got it. You Your gotta, mom's got some bomb food. Dude, really the, the, good. Uh, I got to um, I got to I got to big up her pizza boats. Yeah, you love those, those last time she oh, came out. With the French bread on mm -hmm. the French bread roll. Yeah. Mm. Keep uh, keep going with that. Um, she had her cheese dip. I had three bowls of it. I had three bowls of cheese dip. It was so well, much. What's so special about what makes her cheese dip different than others? There's spinach. There's jalapenos. There's olive. Oh, it's white cheese. You it's, dip tortilla chips ooh, in it? Oh, yeah. I just... Blah, 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 blah. And then in a big bowl? In a big bowl. Does she heat it up? Dude, it's in a crock pot. It's piping hot. Ooh. It's amazing. Dude, Ooh, it felt so good to be back home. Home cooking, brother. Oh, it was next level. I probably so what gained else five does your mom? You know, back. I'm interested in this. Yeah. What other specialty dishes does your mom cook? Dude, for Thanksgiving, uh, not Thanksgiving, Easter, Slow excuse it down. Me. Think I about know, it. Know. Slow it down. For Easter, I was really excited. My mom made her sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. Yeah, and she made her green bean casserole. She has a casserole? Is. She makes I so many casserole. casseroles. And then she made homemade. I don't have a lot. She made homemade stuffing as well. Oh, what's special about? She's got a little special touch, doesn't she? Yeah, some some seasoning. And she made her homemade deviled eggs. Oh, well, well. Can you can you clarify what what is a deviled egg? I, I have you I was, never had a deviled egg? I was always kind of in the blue. Go go ahead. Um. Well, they dropped on the car ride over, so they got kind of deformed. So yeah. I called them demon eggs. Demon eggs. <laughs> but what what is what? What makes a, a deviled egg a, a deviled egg? Uh, I mean, is it seasoning on a hard boiled egg? There's seasoning. Is uh, it a hard boiled egg? They're hard boiled, but then you like mush the insides and like with, I think with there's like there's like mayonnaise and um some other stuff that you add to it, mayonnaise and pickles. You will love them. You love them. Okay, that's just someone out there. Yeah, that scared me. Did it? I know. I saw you freaking like. Oh, cause I heard someone like <sighs> luggage. <sighs> Woo. Okay, so it's a hard-boiled season be egg. The Reaper. Hello? Everything's okay. <laughs> Dude, you're making me hungry. Again. Dude, I know. So is it cut in half? It's like that, it's right? It's cut and in half, and then and then you take it, and then you just oh, God. it's so good, dude. Ain't you, nothing you'd love like them. ain't nothing like mom's cooking, huh? True that. Who's a better cook, your dad or your mom? Oh, my mom. Does your dad have some specialties? Yeah, he does. What's his specialty? If you come home, he'll he makes... treat me like a family member. Yeah, because you said he, I could stay with your family. You could, and you will. He makes deli sandwiches like a man, <sighs> like a man. Go Cuts ahead, them up, keep going on the sandwich put chips thing. Chips in the middle. No, no, no. Keep going. What does he put in the sandwich? Ham, Pastrami. What? Ham, what's going on, man? Ham turkey pastrami there's different kinds of cheeses maybe swiss sometimes colby sometimes yeah. sharp he cheddar. goes to the deli yeah he goes to the deli gets it freshly cut gets it freshly cut puts chips in the middle with love and oh. then pours me a big glass of milk to go with it with oh i could just... do without the milk but keep going does he throw a pickle in there i like pickles yeah there's a pickle in there on the yeah. side speaking of pickles did you get yourself in a pickle recently no but i would like to to eat some pickles with you someday where did that come from? Um, I thought of the farmer's market. It's, it was something that we talked about maybe like a year ago. Oh. That hasn't happened yet. But I want to kind of, I want to retouch upon and it. And it's not going to happen. It isn't. It's the same weekend as our camp. I know. Oh, I, I know. That's, that's but you know what, though? What? Hey, we're doing a camp. We're doing a camp. What are those dates, baby? June 17th 17? through 19th. Yeah. Right? That's right? Yeah. Well, let me Camp Ra. Scissorbros. Camp. Camp Scissorbros, baby. Yep. June yeah. 16th through 19th. The 19th. It's a tech free, all inclusive retreat. Summer camp for adults. Camp Ra. R A H H dot com. Use camp. promo code Scissorbros to yeah. get a discount, and we will see you there. And campers. we want y'all. To be some of our siblings to be there. Oh, absolutely! Bring we, your swim trunks, 
Bring your flashlights, yeah. your s'mores, all of it. All of it. It's going to be a blast. One for the books, I'll tell you that much. How do they if you get can tickets? make yourself out there. How do they get tickets? How do they Camp get tickets? Campraw.com. Mm -hmm. There's a link below with all that stuff in the description, all that stuff. Yeah. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. We're see, but I will, for the pickle thing, we were going to do this pickle eating contest yeah, uh, with the farmer's market. Yeah, that They been... scheduled it. Um, they, <sighs> they scheduled it kind of without um, fully giving them a lot of options. So they just took the first date that they could. And without knowing that we weren't available, yeah. uh, but we want to support our pals um, over at the farmers market. Um, why am I blanking right now? It's okay, man. You know, it's been a while. Kalen and Kalen, I, yeah. I just had a brain fart. My buddy Scott Kalen is the owner over at Farmers Market. Makes amazing, different flavored pickles. Go to Kalen and Kalen in the Farmers Market if you're in the LA area. And that's not he's not never does like any like uh, paid sponsor. It's just a company that I love. He brought me pickles when my wife was pregnant he dropped them off at my place uh we just became friends over the pandemic good grief oh, excuse me that was right in my ear hole and right Sorry. on Jared. Sorry, Jared. it's okay it's i've got COVID through um, my anus three times you did some other fun things in uh kansas didn't you i had, a, I had quite the trip what else had what what else went down um uh well i got um uh footage of uh just my dog foot long i love him is that his real name yeah foot long <laughs> talking about a sandwich or something that's the name of we your dog we named him after the sandwich so he's a he's a he's, he's a, a wiener, wiener dog. dog he's a long wiener dog he's a full wiener dog wiener dog have you seen uh welcome to the dollhouse todd Solins? Uh, i think you brought that up on a different episode wiener dog i have not seen it okay wiener dog um i have not seen it but let's he's look a at let's look at a clip of my little dogs and foot long hey foot long you want a snack huh you want a snack yeah get it yeah, look at that fat wiener dog boy, huh? Look at that boy, getting on that bone. Getting on that bone there, boy. Yeah, you like that. So we got really scared because I was eating chocolate cheesecake in bed. Uh, in Kansas, the way we do th in the Midwest, you watch movies in bed with your family and it's like <laughs> that's fun times man it's good times it's like camping out uh yeah. for working class people in we, your all, pajamas? we all get in the yeah we all get in the big bed we get food and we just eat in bed and watch movies and that's what we do do you have footage of that no oh that's what i want that's the stuff i want to see you know that's fine i like this footage you're getting but that's what i i want to see that okay well i've got i don't know i'm from a korean Family. Well, I've got we a clip. Do I've got a clip of my mom. She just farted. Well, definitely run that. <laughs> my mom <laughs> farted so bad. <laughs> I, had to, I had to leave the room all the way on the hallway. Why? Why are you under the covers? It smells better under here. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> So disgusting. <laughs> bye, Bubby. <laughs> Love you. Bye. All right, bye. Kiss me goodbye. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> no, give me a kiss hug. Nope. <laughs> Love you. Have fun. Oh, thanks. She, she's get more footage she's of that. Gonna get, she's going to be pissed that I showed that That's, to you. I love that. I don't know if I, I should have showed that. You know what? I want to match you on that. When I go back to AZ next month, yeah, I want to get my mom farting too. I had to walk out of the room because it was so bad. Did it smell like poo? No, no, like deviled eggs. <laughs> like rotten deviled eggs. It, but anyway, we got scared because my, my foot long, he, I was eating chocolate cheesecake in bed and I set my plate down. Oh, well, it's not, chocolate and dogs don't mix. Dude, I know. You're not supposed to do I that. I called a vet and everything. He ate a chunk of the freaking cake. Why'd you do that, man? Don't say it like that. I didn't but mean to. dogs and chocolate don't mix, I didn't brother. feed it to him. He accidentally found it. Yes, it okay, was underneath something that. else. Let's clarify that. I stepped away for a second oh, and no, I thought... poor foot long. I thought that my, my mom or my sister had foot long. Um, oh, man. But he ended up eating it and, dude, he was fine. Okay, shout out to foot long. I'm After glad you're good. He didn't have... His poops weren't affected. He didn't throw up anything. I think it wasn't pure. I think it has to be pure, like, cocoa, like, chocolate. Like, good. Oh. This is store-bought, like, kind of fake 
Was it Hershey's? Chocolate cheesecake? No, it was just some uh, store bought oh, okay. cheesecake. Okay. We were scared though. I called a vet and everything. I was like, what do I need to do? And they're like, what kind of cake was it? I was like, is this? And they're like, I don't think that's expensive enough. I mean, what if it ate an edible? Because you've heard stories of that. Yeah. The dog finding they, some, they sometimes die from that. And they trip out. They yeah. They trip out on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, what else? I mean, you got a lot lot of footy from Kansas. I know. Yeah. I know I got a lot of footage. Anything else went down too? Well, yeah. My dad was gardening. You got footage of that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dadu, what are you yeah. doing over here? I'm over here cleaning out a uh, herb garden. It looks like it's kind of been kind of let go for a year, two, or three. And I'm Whoa. Guess Throwing what? some shade at my brother's home. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he, I can't blame him. He didn't live here last year. But uh, it's the pompous grass hasn't been broken back for a year or two. Mm. But uh, this is mint and uh, too bad. You can't smell it on the camera, but that stuff is awesome. Makes great mint tea. Probably when it's dried. But that's where the mint tea come from. Oh, cool. You can smell it. That's great. Mm. Yeah. We're good? Mm hmm So we were over at my brother's, uh, and my dad just starts pulling weeds randomly out of the back of his yard. And my Why? brother my brother got a little offended. He's like, What are you doing in my yard? And my dad's like, I can't stand to look at it. Oh my God. He's pulling brush out of That's my. That's why I love yard. your dad, man. He's like a hands-on dude. Yeah, he's a hands-on man's man. He yeah. gardening. He he paints. He does the whole house stuff. Uh oh, dude. Yeah, he uses hands a lot. Yeah, for sure. Works on cars. The whole thing. He's just like a, even though he damaged his car, he's gonna find the stuff and he'll replace it himself. He, he knows how to do all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of cars, ooh, um. I just found some real vital information. I was, uh, I'm starting to go back to my 12 step meetings and go into my meetings. And uh, we were eating pizza with some of my, uh, with my friends from the program. And uh, one friend actually, he didn't have a car back in the day, but he like presented to the table. He's like, dude, I just got a car. And he spent under like $2,000 on it. You know how he got it? How? There's these things called police car auctions dude he got a beautiful toyota sonoma something for under two g's brother and i'm like i don't believe you let's take a look at it i went out in the parking lot and behold a beautiful good no dents no nothing i'm like turn it on he turned it on it ran good and i'm like wow so i'm thinking i'm not saying i'm gonna do it tomorrow but in the near future because i said i want to go with them because there's they're all over hollywood in fact every a lot of states have them have you heard of this yeah well you got what do you got to say about it because somebody uh, could have died in it you want to be a driver in a haunted toyota <laughs> you know, cut that out of the whole thing <laughs> cut that out hey man there's reasons why things have discounts on them. Well, they, they're confiscated from, from criminals. They're confiscated cars from drug dealers. Do you want the ghost of a criminal riding no, around the passenger seat with you? I would say brother. That's why Sage is you want here. That? You want a ghost? Palo Santo You it, want bro. a ghost in the carpool lane with no, you, brother? No, I'll Palo Santo it, dude. I know how to do these spiritual Put things. Put some incense in there like my dad did. No, I ain't doing incense. I'll do Palo Santo. So hot in the sauna. Yeah, it's steamy. Yeah. Oh, I just thought of this. I love live events, but I hate buying tickets. The hidden fees suck, and coordinating with friends is a nightmare. You know what? I always end up fronting a bunch of money and chasing down my friends to get reimbursed. And if they flake, I'm stuck with a little on the hill. Right, but then I discovered Fanimal. Fanimal has tickets to everything, and there are no fees. The price you see is the price you pay. Not only are the prices transparent, but they're almost as always lower than anywhere else I look. And for any hot ticket like Coachella, Laker game, Dave Chappelle, Fanimal is always the cheapest option. Nobody goes to live events alone, so why buy tickets alone? Duh! Fanimal's patented group purchase makes it easy. First you set a minimum size for your group and choose the number of tickets you want to pay for yourself. Then you invite friends. When the minimum size is met, 
Everyone gets charged and receives their ticket. If the minimum size isn't reached in time, nobody gets charged. Nobody gets charged. <laughs> you don't come in until your friends, friends do. do. Oh, yeah, and Fanimal has amazing customer service. Don't take our word for it. Check out their hundreds of five-star reviews. reviews. The next time you need tickets, go to Fanimal.com and sign up with Scissor Bros for $20 of credit towards your first Purchase. Check out Phantom on experience. experience more. You ready for band practice? You know it. Phantom. But look, I can find like, you know what? He told me a story, a touching story of he was going to bid on a Toyota Camry. Mm. But he chose not to because the other party bidding for it, a son and his father. The mm. son was had a uh, like a college sweatshirt about to go off to college, and he could tell that the dad felt proud that like, oh, I'm gonna buy this car for my son. So he's a good guy. I'm gonna leave him anonymous. Um, but he he decided not to bid on that one because he's like he knew how much it meant to the family. So I'm like, okay, that that's is, nice. Yeah, that's real nice. But for me, man, I would have probably bid on that Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying if you, I need a car too, man. Okay, you you're saying I haven't had a car since 2003. <laughs> you're saying if you would have saw that exact setup, you would no, I wouldn't have done it to that on it. But if it was a Toyota Corolla, let's say like like the fifth car down the line was okay, uh, 2009 Toyota Corolla, great. I'd be like, I would be like, boom. So you have to pay pay the 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 fee on it and the sales tax, and that's it. And then and any liens that they might have on it. So you're not you're not a fan of this idea. I here's my thing. You've waited so long, and yeah, you've, just, and you've worked hard where you deserve if you want a car that doesn't have demons or ghosts in it i want that for you brother i'm not you don't want a lean car like uh please confiscated well here's automobile. the thing also i don't want anything that has a um like a salvage title or anything like that for you on it i want you to get a proper <laughs> salvage title. you know what i'm talking about what if you're in the glove compartment? You're like, eh, there's a, what is a powdery sus substance? There's and cocaine then, still oh, in it. Oh, that's cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a tour of the car, and there's a homeless guy that like pops out of the back. <laughs> like a decapitated head. You're like, yeah. Uh, I guess this comes with the car. Oh, that's a thing. But Steve's uh, like, you said fifteen hundred dollars, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you own everything. Let's say there's tennis rackets in the trunk. That's yours. Oh, cool. So you own your golf clubs, whatever's in the car is oh, yours. So the, you pay for the whole the thing. The murder weapons and evidence comes with it? Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> well, maybe I'll go to the Toyota dealership. Not to dealership. burst the bubble. I'll go to the Toyota dealership. See? Ford? Hey, man. You're, Ford? You're Asian, man. I want you, I want you in a good car. Ooh. I want you in a good car. Oh, my God. Are you sure you don't want to timestamp that part? No, I'm just saying, man. Oh, my God. Ford, I can't believe You said Ford. That's a white. Proud that's to be an American. Ford. I'm saying Ford is a, is a wolf so in sheep's clothing. So why don't you just clothing. say Hyundai, motherfucker? Okay, maybe I will. <laughs> Speak your mind. Honda. Toyota. Hyundai. Hyundai. Toyota. Yeah. Honda. Yeah. Say it. You know what I drive? A freaking Honda. Because I. that's what I. It's is the quality. And it lasts longer. All right, we'll keep that in there. You, you, dude, you're coming at me. I know. And you know what? You're not a hypocrite because you drive a Honda. There you go. If I drove a Ford and I was like, no, nah, you shouldn't get a Ford, then you'd be like, okay, that's kind of suspect. Against, but if it's a Ford, let me ask you something. There's good Fords, I, but I'm saying I'll if you're wanting something advocate. that lasts a long advocate. time, I've had great I'll, experiences with Hondas and Acuras and stuff like that. What about a Ford truck? Ford trucks are good. F-150? Yeah, those are good. Okay. Yeah. We're, that's fair. Yeah. But Toyota's got that um, Tacoma. Those are cool. Those yeah. are cool. All right. I'm not quite there. Um, I'm close. Why are you looking at me like the with frugal eye? Like Steve, because Steve's being there's frugal. There's a lot of things that I like that I know dude, about speak you. speak your mind, dude. <laughs> there's a lot of things what? that I know about you that you're not ready for yet. Do you have a fear of commitment? <laughs> you know, can I be honest with you? The stereotype of Asians being bad drivers... I'm a horrible. I I drive like a grandma. I'm. Do you really? 
Oh my god. I've, I've never driven I, with you. I, I know. Only drive no you. one a lot of people haven't seen me. Do you want to drive my car? Dude, don't do that. Maybe right. you can drive my car. No, don't do that. I just drive very cautious. I'm the person in the beep, lane. Beep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the cautious driver. That's Steve not a bad thing, though. But, like, exactly the speed limit. Okay. <laughs> that annoyed you. That annoyed you. No, it's you. fine. Yeah. Yeah, we could go on to a different topic. Hey, didn't we do a dance break? We did do a dance break. And we did it out in the open, and you're about to see it. You're about to do something? Uh huh. Go ahead, set it up. This is the. <laughs> we got a little silly. This is the censored dance break. Still have them on. Hey, Steve. Hey, what? I forgot the music. That's fine. Can I add it in later? Absolutely. Describe what this dance is. This is the censored dance. All right. So if you have some stickers at home, join us. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Join us at home. Join us at home. If fun. you have stickers. Do you have stickers? <laughs> Are you joining at home with us? We're doing this at home we with hope. the family. <laughs> this is a crazy exercise. This is a family activity. some of my nips hair you have nip, nipple hair yeah okay keep those I'll, I'll keep that in yeah maybe for a future challenge okay keep those so i introduced my son to uh soccer for the first time this over the weekend i'm so happy about that tell me the story uh well they had a little goal set up in my brother's backyard uh and i got to and with a fi size five regulation size uh football as, as some people call it or soccer ball and uh i used to play soccer a lot back in the day i used to be a very good I'm keeper a fan. shout out to the u.s uh, Olymp uh the the national team uh christian pulisic go ahead what i will say though i'm a lot worse than i used to be it takes work man i know does i he, does he enjoy the sport when he watched it um i mean you know he's a little over one but he and he really enjoyed like uh i i would take him and i'd, I'd make him i would swing him and like have his kick uh, his ball uh his foot kick the ball and like roll it and stuff like that it was uh -huh. cute you know what i mean oh he was he was excited you saw him inside we were playing peekaboo with him he's, he getting, was, he's, he's getting uh he's getting a sense of humor he's there he's energetic. laughing yeah. he's free yeah yeah man it's great so uh here's a little clip of me trying to juggle and uh it was a little pitiful but here we go Just riveting footage. <laughs> this is gonna get tens and tens of views. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna get a lot of views. <laughs> oh, caused my nephew to cry over here. Huh? Because of the lack of belief in your brother. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> Man, I just saw a great movie the other night with Craig and his friend Johnny. In the theater? And, yeah, we were at that. You know where the uh, Sunset Lemley 5 used to be? There's a Trader Joe's there. There's a volcano there. It's on the way to the oh, comedy store. Dude, I love that theater. Yeah, they show a it's lot of AMC independent. It's an AMC now, right? Yeah, man. I don't know about uh, this uh, studio company, A24, has been putting out some hits, man. And they put out another Consistent. banger. Consistent. Consistent. Um, I just saw another one I bought on iTunes called St. Maud, just on a whim. Yeah. I enjoyed it. But I saw 
uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And it stars Michelle Yao from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Ooh. She's been in the game for a minute. I know she has. And uh, Ki Kwan. Yeah, she's a short, short round she, from Temple of Doom. She's not a Crouching Tiger anymore. She's a Crouching Cougar. <laughs> Still looking good, though. Yeah. Still looking real Does good. Did she drive a Ford or a Hyundai? <laughs> Steve is getting very angry. Keep it up. Keep it up. You might trigger me a little keep bit. Up. Keep playing. Keep playing. Steve is getting to a point where he's starting to get frustrated with Jeremiah at this point in the podcast. He doesn't know whether or not he should keep staring at Jeremiah out of frustration or wait till the challenge to really wreak havoc on Jeremiah's soul. What will happen next? Stay tuned on this next episode of Scissor Bros. So anyway, it was a really good independent film. Um, uh, the producers, uh, the Russo brothers yeah. produce, there are some of the producers on it. Yeah. Um, it reminded me, I don't want, without ruining the plot, but it, it reminded me a bit about a bit of the Matrix mixed with like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. There was like, it's about like the metaverse and different realities, like, but like the graphics and the anime, like the animation and what they do in it with as far as graphics, it w is mind blowing. You're like, whoa. Like, it's like, she's like living out so many, like there's different possibilities of how life could have been and like her going jumping to different dimensions and back in it's just it's it's just mind-blowing it's a lot of what if scenarios yeah it's mind-blowing what if yeah. i would have done this what if i would have done that yeah but it's actually happening because uh without ronnie and this going back to the matrix there's technology where a allo lot allows her to like jump from other realities oh cool yeah to like kind of manipulate like a grid like that. of like oh, this dope this quantum physics heard, metaverse type thing i've heard from other people that is really good so now i heard from other people and then you were like jeremiah you'd love this movie you got to see it now i'm very excited yeah it's one of those movies where it's like you're happy because like let me focus on key kwan because i grew up with key kwan he was data from the goonies you know this guy the, dude i mean the, the kid was working big time in the 80s he's not a kid anymore wasn't he's, he also in uh indian jones yeah, you short round. Okay, just making sure. You gave me a look like don't name no, the wrong just, Asian person. No, I was person. just because just anticipating what 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 was going to come out of your mouth. I was terrified. I was about to say the wrong Asian person. Luckily, it was the same Asian kid. Yeah, it's uh, he was damn good in that movie. He's great. For those of you who haven't seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, I highly suggest you watch it's that. So it's good. a classic Dude. movie. Amazing. Yeah, um, but he's a he's a father in it uh you know he's a, he's a, he's, he's a older guy now yeah he's the main he's the other main lead in it good for him so, so i highly recommend it and i would watch it in the theaters and it, it just it might it blew my mind i'm like this is cool that's awesome yeah oh jamie lee curtis is in it too Ooh, speaking halloween connection Steve just realized that Jeremiah pulled that reference out of thin air. He didn't realize that when he put on the Halloween shirt, that Jamie Lee Curtis was also in the movie that Damn, he just appreciated from over the weekend. Did you see her in that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger where she does that dance for him and then she realizes that it's her husband sitting in the dark? Do you know what I'm talking about? Where she finds out her husband, Arnold Schwarzenegger, is a spy. It's a hit movie in the 80s, circa 80s, 90s. Peak Jamie Curtis, Jamie Lee Curtis, as far as sex appeal. Do you remember that movie? A spy Game or something? It might have been Spy Game with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I'm, just, I'm just throwing things out Something there. like that, yeah. Yeah. Didn't you have a suggestion? Didn't you watch something recently on HBO Max that you wanted to Oh, it's to a new series about? I'm into. Yeah, it's called Winning Time. What's it about? It's about the rise of the dynasty of the, the Los Angeles Lakers with Magic Johnson and stuff like that and the feud between... Oh, is James Worthy in there? Um... I don't know. Oh, okay. The actor? James Worthy? Wait. James Worthy, the basketball player. Oh, I, I James don't know. James Worthy. Magic Johnson. Irvin uh, Magic Byron Johnson. Byron Scott. I don't know the names enough. Sorry. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Right, uh... <laughs> anyway, so how was how was that uh, documentary? I, saw, or I grew up loving the Bulls. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So there you go. Just tell them that I'm you a, grew up with the Bulls. I'm a Bulls guy. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But you're in LA. You've been here for a while. I'm sorry. Okay, you but know, uh, what, was it I informative? I love me my Jordan, my Pip, and my Tony Kukoc. Was coach. it informative? My Steve, huh? Was it informative? It's great. It's it's dude. It's just a good series. I like and it a lot. It, do they interview? And I the love basketball. So yeah. You good at basketball too? 
I'm oh, pretty. Yeah, you are. You're pretty good, huh? I'm. Pl- I might be playing in uh, a league. No, but I got asked to be a part of the. Uh, Go ahead, say it. Netflix Comedy Festival uh, Comedians vs. Industry game, so. Do you have a jump shot? Like, what's going on? I got a turnaround jumper. You have a turnaround. You have a turnaround jumper. Yeah. I'm good at posting up. That's what, that's, I play down low. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like Can a, we throw this out there? Mm. Uh, if this camp has a basketball facility if you want to play basketball with me at this camp then let's go let's let's have well, some fun i want to play too i could dribble okay if there's somebody who can do better than dribble then that would be fantastic but you're welcome to play as well. i could do a layup if you can do a layup or a jump shot then you're welcome to play oh man now that i want to i i want to be play with you now. you want to challenge me to no, basketball? No, 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 no you would dunk on me i can't dunk Oh, Come on, don't My lie. whiteness shows through. I, I could never dunk. Yeah, you could dunk on me. But anyway, so let's let's make it a future future challenge. We could play like horse or something. Yeah, we, and then the loser has to um, eat horse poop. I knew you were going to say something like that. I'm like, I'm waiting for horse something. Horse pee, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Horse leg. Ooh. Or anything horse, I would not. Anything want. horse. Yeah. Or you have to act like a horse for a day. Like Mr. Ass. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Um, and one last thing before I forget, you you mentioned also a thing called the kindness challenge. Oh, uh, we were talking before the podcast. I used to do this thing on Jeremiah Wonders uh, years ago when I started out the show uh, with my other podcast. If um, you haven't watched it, uh, which by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has been watching my new Stand Up on the Spot special that's a part of uh, the new Stand Up on the Spot series that I've been putting out on my YouTube uh, page. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all the scissor savings for showing out on the premiere and then sharing it throughout the week and everything. And if you haven't yet, youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins, uh, new Stand Up on the Spot special. Uh, Mm -hmm. It's part of a new series I've been doing at the Comedy Store. Uh, The Kindness Challenge is something that I did on Jeremiah Wonders for years that I really enjoyed that I stopped doing... um, uh after a while and i want to start it back up because it made me feel really good when i did it uh the kindness challenge and that's why i think it fits in actually with this show even better than jeremiah wonders because we do challenges on here it's a weekly challenge to not only steve and i but it's to you viewers and listeners to do something nice out of the kindness of your heart for a stranger it doesn't have to be anything big or extravagant it can be something little uh but just having that in your mind in the back of your mind like i'm gonna do something kind for somebody out of the blue that's it can be somebody either related to you or it can be a stranger it can be little or small but it's just something to help motivate you to do something nice i like for somebody. that i like that oh, but this is the thing i think that what matters more is you don't film it you don't post it you don't brag about it you just do it yeah you don't even have to let anyone see it you do it for yeah. you and that person and boom you know what i mean now what i did on the sh- on the show which i do think that it helps encourage other people to do it i do ask people to write in so you could email scissorbrospod at gmail.com if you want to share the story of, of that's different okay they could do I mean? that they could do that and if you want to remain anonymous just tell us in the email i'd like to rem- remain anonymous or we can say your name whatever you're comfortable with i um, like that man that's, it's just that's something positive, to spread positivity man, man. yeah you know what I mean? man i like that it's something what made you think of that to do something like that uh years ago i i just i, I did this on, on my podcast i wanted to do something special uh like that to spread positivity and i really enjoyed um i really enjoyed doing it and uh and putting out awareness of it and to be honest i had a comedian um who got in my head about it uh saying that i was doing it for the wrong reasons and it really hurt my feelings and i stopped doing it because of it and i, I kind of regret stopping doing it so a person made you feel guilty for doing a good act? Yeah, the negative people can sometimes bring you down. Yeah, tell me about it. It's a real thing. So they got in my head about it, and uh, and I was like, oh, well, I never wanted to come off like I'm show Because, you know, I would share stuff to encourage other people. I was like, hey, I tried to, I did this this week. Yeah. And they just like, they got in my head. They're like, dude, you're you're showing off about kind things you're doing. I'm like, no, that you're missing the point. I'm, I'm, I'm saying an example to try to inspire other people to try that's to do fine. things. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Because you're coming from a good place. 
that was the goal. But then I'm I just gotta, not for the people like, hey guys, I'm about to do something nice and filming it and putting it on their YouTube channel. No, it's different when that. those people are like, I'm gonna give. 20 bucks yeah, to a homeless no, guy no, and I'm going to film that. it. Like, do that's, it. That feels slimy. You know do what it I mean? incognito. Exactly. Do it incognito. Do, how, about, a, how about turn on incognito mode in your life? Yeah, huh? that's what I'm saying. Huh? Incognito. I had a nice service lady, a customer service lady do a nice thing for me. Can I talk about that a little bit? Oh, Just to, yeah. Okay, so the other night... Um, you know, I'm a fan of the Nine Club, you know, the skateboarding podcast. Dude, and, of course. And I was, I was listening to have one. Have you been on it yet? No, they have pro, it's all like pro skate, like they're all pro skate. I'm going to put it out there. You're going to be on it. No, I don't I'm not even at that level. But anyway, I do it for fun. But anyway, I'm, I'm listening to this podcast. I'm like, they're talking highly about these half cabs, Vans half cabs. It's like it's like a historical shoe. It's a classic shoe. I've worn them. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I want to order some. So I went on the van site, and when you're when I filled out my order, I noticed, you know, I put in the color I wanted, my shoe size, but they didn't charge me. So I'm like, oh, it's one of those deals where when I get them, they're gonna charge me, or they'll do it through my email because I left my email. But what ended up happening is one day I, I roll up to my front door and there's a box and I'm like, oh, and there are the half caps. And so and they're the exact ones I wanted. It, it came with white and black laces. So I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I could put black laces in if I wanted. So I'm like very happy about it. And then I'm like, well, there's no, there's no billing. It just said my address and they just sent me these shoes. So I wanted to do the right thing. So the next morning I called customer service, fans customer service. So I waited, I stayed up all night cause I was, I don't know, I was like feeling weird about it. I'm like, I, I'll, I'll, I'll like give them back if I don't want to take these shoes for free. But anyway, um, I called the lady the next morning around eight in the morning and I, and I told her, I was being honest. I said, hey, l listen, I filled out an order for these half caps, but um, is there some hidden fees? Because you guys haven't charged me yet. Right. And you know what she did? She paused and she went like this. She went, <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> I'm like, and I was just frozen. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. And she goes, Honey, just give me your give me your order number, honey. And then I gave her my number. Oh, one five blah blah blah. blah. And she paused again. And I thought she was gonna say, "Okay, yo, seventy four ninety nine or something." But instead, she goes, "Well, it looks like Christmas came early for you, honey." I go, "So we're all clear on your end?" She goes, "Yeah, there was some kind of mishap. It looks like you got a free pair of shoes. You <sighs> ordered one pair of shoes, one pair of shoes, and got them for free." Yeah, I've I think, never heard of anything like that in my life. Yeah, happening. Vans sent me a pair of shoes, so thank you, Vans. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna, I don't know if they're gonna charge me now, but um, I'm gonna skate in them. They're great. They're navy. They're blue half caps. Thank you. Can I, can I say this? What? That story, and I'm not blowing smoke or anything. That story is one of the reasons I genuinely love you, dude, because you. Are somebody is so nice and so kind that you were so worried about it all night that you wanted to do the right thing. Oh yeah, I didn't want to. Yeah, you called the customer service line. Like you didn't have to do that. And it's like, yeah, dude, that's how that. genuine my scissor brother Steve Lee. You is know, right I try. There. I've been trying to do the right thing. You know what I mean? And I'm uh, proud of you, dude. Yeah, and and the thing is, it's even more special because it's like I even gave them an opportunity to bill me. Well, and she laughed at. She <laughs> <laughs> she did that and i'm like what the hell has this ever happened to you like when you found someone's wallet and you returned it to oh, them yeah. and then there's they're like you didn't take the money out of it here's 20 bucks and you're like oh, wow oh yeah you just you just give that right back yeah 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 i mean how how crazy would it be if you lost your wallet? oh my god that would be a nightmare what was the worst thing you've ever lost i you lost a wallet as a kid and a Chuck E. Cheese that had I think so I lost much money keys. in it. Oh, dude, I have a, I have a like a spooky horror kind of like I don't know if it was witchcraft, but I was locked out of my apartment once. This is years ago. My master key, and then for some reason, like near, like I was like, you know where that fountain is, right? Like when you when you exit my door, if you look to the right, there's that fountain. Yes. In that dirt area, there was a key that was rusty, 
it, it was just sitting there and I'm like oh and then I tried it on my lock and it opened my door and it, I, I know I can't explain it and it was it was just a random I know it was scary as hell I'm like how did that kid get there it was just sitting right there it was like this it looked like copper rusted and copper like you could tell it wasn't on my keychain but it opened my front door <sighs> i'm sorry for making it scary do you think it was an ex-girlfriend who put it there to freak you out no i i can't explain it i don't know how it got there weird but yeah <laughs> I think this would be a good segue for and the. Go ahead. Challenge. The vibes are positive and flow in this episode. And I think you'll like this challenge. Um, Steve yeah. is telling me for the first time, by the way, sometimes we talk about the challenges. Today, uh, I said, hold off until the podcast before we discuss the challenge because it could be ghostly, it could be ghouly, it could be gobliny, but. We'll get Jeremiah's reaction for the first time live in front of the Scissor Siblings. Without further ado, take it away, Steebie Weeby. This episode brought to you by Red Bull. So, shout out to my my good buddy and neighbor Craig. We thought about this before going before we headed to the movies, and then out we we're in CVS. I'm like, what do you think would be a good challenge? And he's like. Cause, cause you know he's been there a lot for our past challenges, so he he knows what we've already done. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, let's do something like it doesn't have to be crazy, gross, or like hot, nothing hot. Or he's like, why don't you do? Cause I use earplugs a lot. Will be when I go to sleep. Right. These really durable, like you can't hear a thing. Yeah. We thought of a challenge where we have these earplugs in, like these really heavy duty ones, where I ha we write three five word sentences where you kind of talk lower than this and then i have to guess what you say and you have to guess what i say is it a reading lips challenge you could read i mean that's your own tactic if you want to use it like that yeah you could read the lips you could read lips but i was thinking because i got these um these um max these are heavy duty okay and i was thinking to make it fair if you if you wanted to to make it fair, I could put it on your ears and you could just to make sure everything's sealed shut the way we want it. Yeah. So there's no advantage or disadvantages. I trust you to. And then, but the loser. So we do three sentences, right? You could write them down. I think we should write them down just to get it in the clear. Five word sentences. Five word sentences. Yeah, no more than five. I thought about this. Okay. No more than five. Like we'll do the two, best out of two out of three or something like that. Okay. Three, you know, three. But the loser, the reason why I asked you to get trash bags is because the loser has to basically become a pancake. And um, um, the loser has to lie um, down and it, your face is going to be a pancake. And this you could pour it all over um, the loser's face, hair, and mouth too. Okay, and that's the punishment. In the hair, too? Do you know how hard it is to get syrup out of a hair? Okay, we'll leave the hair out of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't so know if you've had is, syrup in your hair before. Guess what I say, earplug syrup oh challenge. Oh, my goodness. Guess what I say, earplug Plug syrup is, challenge? Yes. All right, let's set it up. I mean... No hair, but mouth and ha face. Okay. Okay. Um, so do you have a index? Hold up. Let's just, I want to just. I've got a piece of paper. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I can, and, and I've got I a pen a over here. Of, and I have a piece of paper. Okay, too. great. So do you want to toss me some earplugs? Discuss, yeah. Well, it's I'm five word sentences, right? But as far as the, how loud we could say it, because we have to make it mysterious. We can say it how about like this. A little bit louder than that. How about like this? That's perfect. How about like this? How about like this? Blah 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 blah. There you go. Okay. Scout's honor. Okay. Okay. The 
this whole one for one year to seal it shut. Really? Okay. This, that's how I sleep. So this is just for one year. Okay. Oh, a little bit bouncy. Shit. Here, I'll throw you down. It's under the table. I didn't I see it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, these are heavy duty. Yeah, you it, ba it like bounced right out of my hand. Yeah, you could sleep. You could sleep like a baby with these. There we go. Okay. So what you do is you put them into a ball, like this. Like a ball? Well, obviously to fit in the ear. Oh wow. In fact, hold up. Is this too big for one? No, it's not. I'll just do it like this. I'll do like a bullet. You can do it like a bullet? Yeah. Oh wow. Holy shnikes. Okay. Okay, this is good. I can't hear nothing. One second. It's really... <sighs> okay. I can't hear anything. Oh. Air, air tight. I can't hear nothing. I can. I got a pen. Write down. Write down your three five word sentences. Write down my five three word sentences? Yes. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I just hear like a ringing, a faint ringing in my ears, but it's, it's so quiet inside my head. Huh. Okay. Who wants to go first? But we're going to talk softer once we actually... Yeah, we have to talk way softer. Yeah, because so, right now I can still hear you when we're talking loud like I this. Know. And you can hear me, right? Yeah. Mine are like faint. way... Oh, mine are deep. So we're going to we're gonna talk. We're going to talk in this tone. Okay? We're talking this loud, right? We're talking like this loud. You want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. Okay. You are good at crowd work. I'll say it two more times. You are good at crowd work. I can't hear you it all. You are good at crowd work. I got nothing. I said it three times. Want me to do it one more? You are good at crowd work. I said it four times. Okay, so I need to say it four times for you? Yes. Okay, I think you said something like, you're my favorite person. I said, you are good at crowd work. Oof. You are good at crowd work. You're good at crowd work. You're good at crowd work. Okay. All right. You ready? Steve is not lactose intolerant. Steve, see, you're not. I, you're not saying anything. Not, yes, I am. I already said it once. I'll say it again. Steve is not lactose intolerant. Steve is not lactose intolerant. I'll say it one more time. Steve is not lactose intolerant. Steve is not lactose intolerant. <laughs> okay, round two. You ready? Yeah, I don't know why I'm. I feel you, like I'm going to say it a little me. louder, huh? I was because you you said it a little louder. Did I? A little bit. Then you? I'll say it in your tone. Your farts smell pretty fresh. Your 
farts smell pretty fresh. Your farts smell pretty fresh. Your farts smell pretty fresh? Yeah. So, one, one. What's your second one? What are you doing? Okay, updated. Ready? I like to jerk off. I like to jerk off. I like to jerk off? (laughs) 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 All right, is this a... Okay, so I do my third one. And if you don't get it, I win, right? Yeah. Okay. This is this is my last one. Are you listening? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. I will get a Toyota. I will get a Toyota. I will get a Toyota. How many times did you say it? I said it three times. Frick. I got none of that. I got none of it. So I... I said it three times. (laughs) Does that mean I win? (laughs) I will get a Toyota! (laughs) I will get a Toyota? I will get a Toyota. I didn't get any of that. (laughs) What the frick, dude? Take off your shirt. You're set the camera up. I get to pour syrup on your face. You're my pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, Gerald. All right. All right. Be, well, look. I'm gonna say. It. I'm gonna take this out. What? Oh my god. Keep these if you want to sleep oh. better. I know. Oh. oh my God, it's like we're submerged underwater. Oh. Okay, so. Well, it turns out that you're better reading lips and you have better ears than I do. My, you have better vision, though. I'm almost blind in this eye. I know. I want you to go to the eye doctor. <laughs> thank, dude, thank you for your kindness, but I'm about to pour motherfucking syrup on your face and mouth. Let's get to it. Okay. Close your eyes. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. it's Just, going on my eyes. Well, it's, yeah, it's your whole face. Okay. 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 okay, okay wait. Wait. I, I love how you had to what, 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 create what? this challenge out of thin hair. <laughs> what do you mean? So you know you'd win this. No, I, no that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Okay, ready? Just close your eyes. I'll take it easy. Do I have to open my mouth too? Yeah, you have to open your mouth. Yeah? Yeah, because you're a pancake. Okay, but you can close your eyes. Okay, I'm going to just... <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Oh. Oh. Oh, my... I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> this is great. What a great day. I'm so sorry I'm doing this to you. Oh my god, this is gonna get some more in your eyes. Okay. Oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we got it. A little bit more on your mustache. Okay. There you go. You're good, buddy. You look great. <laughs> Don't do Is it, was it that bad? Just so All right, much. Does the camera get in it? <laughs> oh, that one gets so much. Okay, hold up. You just lay there. I'm going to get you some baby wipes. I'm going to give you some baby wipes.
Okay. Hold up, hold up, don't, okay. yeah, yeah, I want you to, you know, hold okay. on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. It hurt, there right? Wait a second, yeah. let me try, oh, okay. oh no, I can't even move my eyes. I can't, I, they're glued shut. Okay, hold up, let me. Oh, I, Okay, that, was, that wasn't that bad, huh? Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the stroke on my eyes. Oh, here, here, uh, I need the. Here, 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 I'm gonna get oh. it. Here, here, here's some baby wipes. Here's some. It's okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I think I did it. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. Uh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, I am so sorry. <laughs> hey man, you win seven, you lose some today. I won. This is so gross. Okay, I'm so sorry. Here, here. Let's just. I want to make sure. Hold on. Go get my ears. Yeah, I'm gonna get your ears. It's okay, man. It's, it's not that bad. Oh, the syrup burns the eyes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you sure you want to get up? Oh. Okay, oh. you want to get up? Yeah, I'm going to try to get up. Okay. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I just don't want to make sure none of it gets Oh, me. it's in my eyes for yeah, sure. Yeah, let's get away from the uh, car. Here's some. Uh, here, here, here's some. Hope you're subscribed <laughs> at <Yeah>. youtube.com <laughs> slash scissor bros. Hey, do you want to do a closing song? Yes, yeah, sure, why not? All right. Okay. He's the syrup man It poured thick Didn't get any on his hands He's a syrup man He's a syrup man I got it in his eyeballs Got it in his eyeballs I got it in his nose He got it in his nose I got it in his beard He got it in his beard This challenge was weird This challenge was weird He's a syrup man. He's a syrup man. I didn't get any syrup in his hand. Didn't get it He's in his hand. He's a syrup hand. man. He's a syrup man. Next week we'll have a different plan. A different plan. And this type of syrup was the gold emblem at CVS. He was a fresh pancake. So soft looking. He had syrup in his goatee Syrup in his goatee At least it wasn't my urine or my pee Wasn't a urine, no, he's a syrup man. man Didn't have to put any butter on his nose No butter on his nose Or his forehead Or his forehead I got so much respect for him there's so much respect Cause he wins most of the challenges <laughs> But not today I felt like I was Getting waterboarded On a Sunday A human Sunday A human Sunday A human Sunday, a human Sunday. A human Sunday. Use this. Use this. There's some up here, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there's some up here. Thanks for yeah, tuning in. in. <laughs>
had a debt to pay off. Just kidding, I was tripping my balls off and I visited the Star Wars universe and it was a lot of fun. Anywho, hope y'all are having a good week. I'm having a hell of a week. Um, the child support is getting pretty serious. Uh, they're threatening to call and repossess my hooves. Anyway, hopefully people will keep signing up for the Patreon and stuff. The guys at least give me a little bit of that scratch. Anyway, uh, that's about it. We have a lot of cool, exciting challenges coming up here. Hope you guys like this unique one. And I'm going to rest my throat a little bit. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye! This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The musical. Kawabunga! Kind of